Okay, there's my rubs. I'm making a slow cooked smoked brisket. And there's the mix, salt, pepper, coriander, curry powder, a little bit of smoke pack breaker, and a little bit of some cayenne pepper. And mix it all together. And then I'm going to rub it on. And I pulled out my brisket about two hours ago because it's going to start coming to room temperature. I'm going to rub this on and then I'm going to set the fire up and then cook it for the day. So yeah, and there's the brisket. It's all nice and trimmed. It's about two and a half kilos, ready to go. I've started the fire. It's nine o'clock on the Sunday. We should be sort of eating around about five, six o'clock this evening. So it is a slow cook Sunday after all. It will take a time, but I'm going to only put the fire on one half of the barbecue and I'll show you why later. Okay, I've set it all up now. I've got my charcoal on one half there and I've just put the red gum on top because I'm using red gum to smoke it with, so just a nice piece of red gum. I've put some water in there, boiling water, so then that way it stays nice and moist in there. And there's my meat. So pretty much what I do now is I'm going to put my meat on. I'm going to put the thick part facing away from the heat because you don't want that to cook too quickly. Now as it's smoking, I'm going to cover it over. I'm going to open up. So then that way, the smoke starts to come through. Now I'm going to leave that there for the next couple of hours. I'll check it every so often, and then I'll show you the next step. So that's all that needs to be done. Okay, almost two hours later, just on. As you can see, I've had to turn the wood around a little bit because what happens is you've got to stoke the fire up every so often and it will go down. The meat itself is looking really nice and tender. So now I'm going to take it off and do the next step. There it is now. I'm going to wrap it up nice and tightly in silver foil and then put it back on the, on the barbecue for another probably three to four hours. So as you can see, all nicely wrapped. I've had to put a few layers on it so then that way there's no gaps or holes because that we don't want any of the juices being lost or leaking. That's back on the barbecue. The wood started to fire up now, but it's okay because it'll just calm down again. Every so often you just got to make sure that the charcoal and the wood hasn't gone out. Um, and then I just cover it. And I've left the bottom vents, the top vents, fully open. All right, so another two or three hours now. All right. It's been resting now for about an hour. And there we go, it's looking awesome. Actually smelling awesome, isn't it? Woohoo! It's just looking amazing. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Be careful with smoke. It's too much, it's got too much salt or pepper. It can be overpowering.